Joining me now on this episode of Local Resource CCP is Raul Hernandez, uh, Director up, of Photography and CEO at Raw Visuals. What's up, man? What's up, brother? Chilling, man. How you doing? Doing good, man. Thanks for joining us, man. Just uh, like I said before, we'd like to, you know, highlight local businesses, local talent as well. I mean, you're okay. one of the, I'm going to say one of the premier production companies here in El Paso. I know you don't and you don't just work here in El Paso. So that's one of the cool things about your company. Uh, talk a little about uh, Raw Visuals and what you guys do. Awesome, brother. Thanks, uh, thanks for having me, first of all, bro. For sure, man. Um, so Raw Visuals, we're a production company, video production. We do both um, video production and photography. Um, so yeah, brother, I mean, we're here. We do everything from commercials, music videos. Um, we even do weddings, quinceaneras, oh, you know, a little bit of everything. So yeah, brother. That's awesome, man. I mean, is there, uh, is there some of the things, is there some things you like to shoot like, like versus something else or do you just like the all-around creativity that you get to do in, in the production business um for sure music videos man it's my favorite uh that's why i left to la because i wanted to do videos you know um so that's that's like my favorite thing and then also feature films man i did i've done some feature films in the past but i want to i want to do more for sure especially as a dp cinematographer you know just to uh, experience with lighting and all that so that's and awesome. i mean I, I like i just like being on set you know commercials all that but oh yeah like music videos is Probably like the best thing for sure. Talk a little bit about how you got uh, started in the industry. I mean, I mean, all the way back when when did you first pick up a camera or set up some lights or a set? I mean, talk a little bit about your background and, and basically where do you come from, man? Um, I come from here from Paso, man, Socorro. I grew up in Socorro. I went to Socorro High School. Um, and yeah, bro, like they had a good program there at Socorro High School for media production. Back in the day, it was more like um, for yeah, production for like news TV. Mm -hmm. um so that's where i started bro back in 1998 i think it was i, I took the class and, and i just went in there because it was like it looked like a fun class you know i'm like ah, let me check it out and at that time i didn't know what i wanted to do but like, i had tried a bunch of other classes in high, in high school you know when you're in high school you're like shit what am i gonna do after high school and all that so i was kind of freaking out i tried everything after a while i was like you know what man, let me just get into this uh media tech class check it out and um and it was fun bro as soon as i got a camera in my hands it was over bro you know i just started just wanted to shoot all the time and edit, and um, and that's where it started, bro. I started working at um right after, right out of high school, they got me a job at the TV stations, so I started working at Channel Four on back in 1999, 99, and then um yeah, I did Channel Four for like two and a half years, and then I ended up going to Channel Twenty Six, so I probably did like, about like five years of news. That's cool, man. Anything uh anything that you miss from shooting news or or anything that you miss from that that industry at all? I do, bro. I mean, you know how it was, man. You were there too. Um, it was cool, bro. Just you know, like all the all the homies, man. There was like, I don't know, man. It was just a good time. And but what I, I like from shooting news, like I actually miss shooting sports, bro. Like I really like shooting sports, like um, everything, football, basketball, all that. Yeah, it was dope. Especially like when I was at uh, what is it, Channel Twenty Six. They used to send me to um, to uh, San, San Antonio for the Dallas Cowboys camps. So I did that for a couple of years, and then they sent me to Tucson for the baseball camp. So that was dope, man. That was like the, the probably like the thing that I missed the most for sure. Dude, that's one of the coolest perks. Like I, I know a lot of people uh, think like, oh, if you're in the news industry, no matter what you do, you make a lot of money, and that, <laughs> I, that that's far from it unless you're in one of the, yeah. the bigger markets. But I mean, yeah. one of the biggest perks was like being able to like to see the behind the scenes stuff of the sports, hang out on the sidelines of different places like yep, yep. basketball games that that was i have to admit that that was, i do miss that a lot and miss and miss hanging out with everyone that works there all the photographers and everything like that that, that was a different kind of scene and something you yeah. can't really get anywhere else yep yep no i mean and remember like even like uh, going to the diablos to shoot the diablos and going upstairs to get that buffet the food <laughs> that was also pretty dope man. i missed that or at awesome. the sun when you to go to the games and go you know just go out there and munch out Dude, I, I think I, I think when I left the industry, I think I lost a lot of weight because because of that. Because I, uh, <laughs> I, I, you go to all the all the all the sports. You're right. There's they had food for all the photographers and yeah, man. Especially like in the yeah, like the Sumbos, they or all the YouTube games. They had all the um the tailgating, mm -hmm. and we would we would go cover that, and I would just be eating, man. Like all the stands, I would know people like, hey, come over here, eat a burger or something. That's so all, just eating everywhere. Shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, that, that that was a cool perk, man. I, that's one thing I do miss from that stuff. But let's talk a little bit about Raw Visuals, man. How did that get started? And um, talk a little about some of the favorite things that, that some of the things that you love doing with your company. 
Um, Raw Vision started when I came back from LA, man, because I was in LA for 10 years. So when I came back, I didn't have a company yet because I've been working freelancer this whole time. And when I came back, I was sitting up a bunch of businesses. I just wanted to work, you know. But um, but it was uh, it's different over here. Like you need to have a company. Like if you everybody would always ask me like, who do you work for, or, or you know, what's your company or whatever. And I was like, no, but just myself, you know. Yeah. And um, and I guess to make it more legit, it was like, all right, I need to start a company. I need to you know get a name and make business cards and all that, you know. So I just kind of started you know, brainstorming, started thinking. It took me forever to come up with a name, bro. Like I still have a list of all the names that I came up with. Like at the time, I was still traveling back and forth to LA. Yeah. So when I would go to LA for work, like I would go over there two weeks, shoot for two weeks, come back and shoot over here and like just back and forth, you know? And and then I would always tra- travel on the bus. So I'd be in the bus for like 14 hours. I remember one day just I was in the bus and just came up with like 30 names, bro. And I was like, man, I, none of them, I, I didn't like any of them, bro. Till finally I was like, you know what? Let me just keep it simple. Um, my nickname in LA is Ra. They just call me, you know, for Ra. Uh, they just call me Ra. And I was like, what do I do? Visuals. But, you know, just combine those. So I came up with Ra Visuals, you know? Nice, man. And uh, you guys do everything from commercials, quinceaneras, music videos. Yep. What is, I think, I, 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 if you had to narrow it down to one thing that one, one production you've done, uh, maybe, in, maybe like uh, someone you've met or gotten to hang out with because of your company and because of what you do, talk a little about some of your favorite like uh, celebrities or, or, or artists that you've worked with that, that that's always going to be with you. I mean, um, that all the, I like the big artists was back when I was in LA. So that was before I started my company. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, man, when I was in LA, I got to work with a bunch of artists, especially like artists that I grew up listening to, man, like Ice Cube, Snoop, mm-hmm. um, you know, all these old school cats from Cypress Hill. So getting to work with them, bro, it was, it was pretty dope, man, you know, and, and that's when I kind of figured out like, oh, shit, after being on the grind for so long, because when I left news, um, I didn't know what I wanted to do, you know. I mean, I was like, fuck, man, I, should I stay in news or what? You know, I always wanted to do music videos. So I was like, you know what, let me go to film school. So I went to film school in Hollywood. And um, so, yeah, being out there, just, I just grinded for like two and three years, man, until finally, you know, I started getting some some work, you know, and started a company out there in, in L.A. called Ski TV. And then that's that 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 company is what pretty much um, led us to doing all these videos with big artists, you know. So, yeah, man, just I did a bunch of it. I did hundreds of videos for a hip hop artists. And then I kind of transitioned to the to the banda scene. Mm-hmm. So I started doing videos for everybody from uh, Rey Lucaro, Gerardo Ortiz. Recently, I did some for uh, Cristian Noval. I did one for him in, in Mexico City. And then we did another one in Colombia. So, yeah, man, it's been dope, man. I've been able to travel, you know, pretty much everywhere. And, um, yeah, man, that's and now I'm back in El Paso and started my company. So. Yeah, awesome. nice. um and you are for hire i mean is there uh i i'll in, i'll include your information below that way if anyone is interested in getting in touch with you that's all right dope, dope. And, yeah, yeah and uh, i mean i i've seen a lot of your stuff man and you do a lot of cool a lot of awesome production work and photography i know your wife does photography as well right yes yeah 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 man when we started the company it was like um I don't know if she started, though. I mean, she was already practicing. So, yeah, she wanted to learn it, man. So I just got her a camera, you know. I was like, you know, I got her like a T5i or something. Yeah. Like, Here you go, babe. Just play with this. And she she was having trouble with the settings. So I was like, you know what? Just put it in automatic and um, and just learn how to shoot first. Learn how to frame. So once she got that down, then you start learning the, you know, I mean, all the all the settings and all that. So that's yeah. how she picked it up, bro. And she's, she's doing dope right now. She's doing awesome. Uh, I think that's the best way to learn, and especially in this industry, is to grab a camera and just start shooting. Do it, yeah. I mean, that's how I learned. My first camera was a freaking little Kodak 1.5 <laughs> megapixel camera yeah, yeah, yeah. that I started shooting with and just kind of gradually from there got be- uh, upgraded and hopefully got a little better. <laughs> yeah. I, I just think, like, especially if you're in this industry, it's I, it's basically like what they – like, you just got to keep practicing. You got to keep shooting just to get Very better. Much. Yeah, yeah. The cool thing is too, I think, was especially someone from you is that you guys also do sometimes. Uh, you guys have done workshops in the past, mm-hmm. um, but I know because of the pandemic and everything going on, it's kind of slowed down a little bit. But has, did the pandemic affect your business at all during during this time, or, or how did it affect you guys? It did, man, for sure. Like pretty much, especially when it comes to weddings, bro. Everything got canceled. Weddings, quinceañeras, all those events got canceled, bro. So it was like, oh shit, we already had like ten booked or something like that. Um, mm-hmm. so everything just got either canceled or postponed. So we we're like, oh shit. And then 
Yeah, man, everything meant commercials. Nobody was shooting music videos at that time, for sure. Um, so everything, like, we were slow for, like, or just shut down for, like, two months. And then after that, um, we started getting hit up for for businesses, like like gyms, restaurants. They wanted to show that they're, I guess, they were clean. You know, they were, like, disinfecting and all that. So they wanted us to film that. Right. So we got a bunch of those commercials. <laughs> and, and, yeah, and then just, like, recently just started picking up, bro. Everybody just wants to shoot, you know. Everybody that's been on lockdown is like, all right, now we got to go. We got to shoot. We got to start promoting. Mm -hmm. so it's been good man we've been grinding well that's good man i mean uh, any plans for the future what where, where do you where do you see raw visuals in the future man what what do you what do you want to happen uh with you with your company um just keep growing bro just keep growing um growing the company for sure uh especially when it comes to like weddings and all that i mean because commercials and music videos that's always there man uh, like i don't even promote that like if you notice if you go to my website i don't even really promote you know, music videos, all that, because they already, like, I'm already in that industry, you know, they already know me there. Um, so when I get hit up, you know, I just got to show them my real, like, if they don't know me yet. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I just want to keep pushing weddings and all that, keep, keep building my team, keep building. And then also, um, and and just, I want to start, like like you said earlier, like, we did some workshops, but I want to continue doing that, man. Um, I've been building a team here with other, other production companies, um, other directors here. Everybody has their own little company. But we always come together and we do these workshops, man. So I want to continue doing that. Awesome, man. If there's anything we can help with, man, let me know. Be, be cool to be yeah, a part yeah, of it. For sure, brother. Let's hey, do it, man. Hey, any advice to any uh, upcomers, like student, high school students, anyone wanting to get in the industry, any advice from a pro like yourself? What, 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 would you, what advice would you give? Um, yeah, bro. Just like I said, like, like with my wife, man, just do it, man. Don't be afraid. Just pick up the camera and start shooting. You know what I mean? Don't get too caught up with the, all the technical stuff or – like nowadays, everybody wants to have the latest and greatest camera, you know, oh, I need to buy the new Red or I need to buy the new Sony, you know, this, like you don't really need to, bro. Like all these cameras pretty much look dope. When we started, like these cameras that we had, the beta, the beta cams and all that shit, you know what I mean? Like those cameras were expensive. You couldn't just pick one up and, mm -hmm. and shoot, you know what I mean? Um, you can't even buy those at the store. Nowadays, you can buy a camera anywhere, bro, you know, and there's no excuse to not to do it, you know? Yeah. Um, Especially now camera, that What's that? No, go. I was, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just... oh, no, it's all good. Um, yeah, as I say, you, you can't really fuck up those cameras. You know what I mean? Like you have to really try hard to mess up the footage on these cameras. These new cameras pretty much shoot themselves. So yeah. don't get caught up with the technical stuff. Just put that on automatic and just learn how to shoot. You know, just learn how to frame first. If you want to do video or photos, just shoot, shoot, shoot. You shoot at home, your family, whatever. You know, and yeah. then yeah, that's how you get better. And these kids, everyone, these kids now are spoiled because they got like better cameras on their phone than we did when we were growing up. <laughs> right. <laughs> But now, um, I really appreciate you joining us to me, man. Uh, anything else you want to say, Ryan, before we end today? Um, nah, brother, just that, man. I guess, um, I guess, yeah, just whenever we'll keep, I mean, I'll keep you guys posted because I really want to get these workshops going. If I don't, if it doesn't open up yet, yet or whatever, it takes a while. Like, I do want to do maybe even just kind of like what we're doing right now. Like, yeah. um, like, you know, I don't know what to call like the training, like workshops, but, uh, you know, to the camera, to the computer. Um, so I want to do some more of that, you know, and, and yeah, brother, just follow me, you know, follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, all that <laughs> for sure. Nice, man. I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll include that in the description below, man. And all okay. your contact info, if anyone uh, needs uh, needs some production done, um, yeah. well, I'll, they can hit you up in the description, man, and hopefully get you some more business and keep it local, man. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. Awesome, brother. Thank you, brother. Appreciate Ra it. Raul from Raw Visuals. Thanks for joining me today, man. Yeah. Peace. Peace.